Hey guys, welcome to another video today. So today's learner driver was Bruno who passed their driving test at once to drive in test center with only one minor fault. For the viewers that are watching today, today's driving test route is a typical test route you can get at once to drive in test center at 12.38 p.m. I will be doing a voiceover of where pupils tend to make mistakes on this test route. As you already know guys, these videos I upload over driving test routes and mock tests on a weekly basis are not a substitute for the real thing. Hence, for those reasons, those of you that would like to have a mock test in a safe and supportive environment and get a feel for how the real driving test will be conducted, as well as getting a feel for where your driving ability is at, feel free to contact me. My details are, are on the screen right now or in the description area below. And guys, thank you for the continued support and please do make sure that you like, share and subscribe and leave comments in the comment section below. And I hope you do enjoy this video, guys. So the examiner started with the independent drive where the pupil was instructed to follow the sat nav. So the examiner instructed my pupil to move away when they're ready. And then the sat nav then instructed the pupil to turn left at the traffic lights. So guys, always be remember to be very cautious when moving away from Herman Hill. <laughs> So as you can see guys, there's a broken down vehicle on the left. They have their hazard warning lights on. So what the learner was being assessed against here is to overtake when it's safe to do so. If you were to just wait behind this vehicle, then you would get marked for undue hesitation. So as you can see, my learner driver did overtake when it was safe to do so and made sure that they did not affect oncoming traffic, which was really, really good. And guys, now you're on Wanstead High Street as it is slightly congested, depending on what time you take your driving test. You still need to ensure that you drive to the appropriate speed of the road, but also assess traffic conditions as well. As you can see guys, there's a pedestrian crossing here, a zebra crossing where there was an island in the middle. So for the viewers that are watching, just a quick question. When there's an island in the middle of the zebra crossing, is it mandatory to stop? or not what's the ruling of if there's an island in the middle and does it differ to a typical zebra crossing what's your knowledge of that guys Again, what was excellent was that my learner driver did respond to the road marker on the floor, which said keep clear. So they did not continue to proceed with the oncoming vehicle ahead of them. And also, guys, make sure that you don't block the junction on your left, because otherwise you then prevent oncoming vehicles who want to turn right into the junction.
Then the sat-nav instructed the pupil to turn left onto Harrier Avenue, which is at the traffic lights. So a word of advice, guys, when you know you're turning left onto Harrier Avenue, you should have some local knowledge and know that you are now going to be approaching Redbridge Roundabout in the distance. <laughs> Also guys, make sure you're paying attention to the traffic light on your left as that's the light that is for you. So it was really good that my learner responded to the filter light for traffic to turn left, meaning it's safe for them to turn left. Also guys, make sure that you don't try keep up with the cars ahead of you as they tend to break the speed limit on this road. So you lot should remember that your speed limit is currently 30 miles per hour. However guys, the speed does change to 40 miles per hour momentarily, as you can see right now. So whenever there's a speed change, the examiner marks you against use of mirrors. Remember, whenever there's a speed change, you must check your mirrors. Also, don't think that the speed limit is a target to be achieved as you have to assess the appropriate speed of the road and traffic conditions. As currently, Bruno was not driving at 40 miles per hour due to the level of congestion. And again, there was a car to their left that wanted to change a lane and come into our lane. And then the sat nav instructed my pupil to take the third exit at Redbridge Roundabout going towards the A12 Chelmsford Romford. So as you can see via the lane markings on the road, the left lane goes left only. So for anyone that wants to take the first exit, they should be in the left lane. Otherwise, you should be in the middle lane. As you can now see, two lanes are going to the A12. You should always be in the left-hand lane of the two, as that way when you exit off at the roundabout, you will exit off in the left-hand lane. The right-hand lane is for those that want to overtake or want to turn right after a set of traffic lights. However, guys, if you did choose the incorrect lane and you were in the right-hand lane of the two, providing you come back to the left-hand lane when it is safe to do so, there is no issue with that, guys, okay? And what routine would you use if you were to come back to the left-hand lane? So remember, there's a few routines that you should have learned with your instructors. One of them is the POM routine, the MSM routine, the MSPSL routine, and the LADA routine. So which one of those routines would you be assessed against when changing a lane back to the left? That's the question for the viewers that are watching today. Please do make sure that you comment down below in regards to the answer for that question. So the pupil now took the third exit and guys make sure that you cancel your left signal when taking the exit here as there's a little slip road on your left that goes to Redbridge Underground Station and then after that the sat nav instructed my pupil to turn right in approximately 800 yards however on this occasion the examiner did advise my pupil to 
go into the right hand lane as there was a stream of traffic in the right hand lane behind us so then the pupil looked obviously they responded to the examiner's advice and looked to change a lane to the right when it was safe to do so as they did however guys if the examiner did not advise the pupil to change a lane the best time to approximately change a lane is roughly 500 yards before you're turning if you're on a high speed road like a dual carriageway <laughs> Satnav then instructed the pupil to turn right at the traffic lights, which is a filterized light, meaning that a filter light will appear, so there's no need to hesitate when your light appears. And then after that, there was a speed change as well. So as you can see there's a speed change now going to 30 mile per hour road as it's a built up residential area with street lamps and after that the sat nav instructed my pupil to take the next road on the right onto Wanstead Lane. And then the examiner instructed my pupil to pull over on the left just before the next vehicle leaving approximately a car length gap between the vehicle ahead. And then after that, once they stopped, the examiner then instructed them to drive on when they're ready.